Well, you may think it's too much trouble to can fruit jam, but it doesn't have to be if you prepare it the way that Trace Barnett does. He's the bitter socialite, and you've got a great idea for not only canning, but also having kind of a canning party with your friends. Yeah, you know, this time of year, there's all kinds of in-season fruits, blueberries, blackberries. Invite your friends over and have a canning party. They can bring, you know, fruits they've grown at home. You can make it together and then, you know, share your jars of jam later and cook up some biscuits and enjoy them while they're there. I love it. You've got some beautiful jars over here that you've canned uh, yourself. And, you know, if you don't have a garden at home, you, right, can, you can just go to the farmer's market absolutely. and pick up some beautiful and, fruit. And, you know, frozen fruit out of, straight out of the bag in the freezer section, that works perfect, too. But don't tell anybody. Right, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let them thaw out before your guests get there. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so how do we get started? So today we're skipping a step. Um, we are not going to be using a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this recipe roughly makes about five pint jars mm -hmm. and you can stagger your jar sizes. Um, begin by sterilizing your jars and heating them up um, on high heat. Bring it to a bowl for both your jar lids and rings and also your pint jars. Okay, that's just to make it sure it's food safe. Right, mm -hmm. and then you're going to want to wash your fruit if it's fresh, especially move any debris, stems, seeds, insects. But <laughs> they right. might sneak in there. Right. And then you're going to want to put them, you're going to need about eight cups of berries to yield five cups of crushed fruit. Okay. So then you're just going to place them in a large bowl crush them up really nicely, leave a little bit of the skin in there because it kind of gives a little bit of texture mm -hmm. to your jam. So put those in a large stainless steel stock pot over high heat. To that, you're going to add one package of fruit pectin. Okay, so that's going in here. Yes. And fruit pectin is found where? It's found in the canning section of your grocery store. Okay. Um, it's usually right next to the jars and jar lids and tips. So to that, you're going to add one tablespoon of butter. This step is completely optional, but I highly recommend that you do it because it reduces all the foam. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And so you don't have a big purple mess. Okay. So what good. you're going to do is you're going to bring that to a rolling boil. And a rolling boil is one in which when you stir it, it does not go down. Okay. And that's an important step. So to that, you're going to want to pre-measure seven cups of sugar. And I know seven cups sounds like an incredible large amount of sugar, but please be sure and use seven cups of sugar because if you try and reduce that in this recipe, it's going to result in your jam failure. Okay, so it's not going to work. No. And you're not going to make this with Truvia or any of the artificial no, sugars? No, you, you kind of have to use just the regular old plain white sugar. So okay. you're going to want to stir that really well, get it really combined, and you're going to bring that to another rolling boil. Okay. After that step, you're going to want to take one of your jars and be sure and have an oven mitt handy because the jar is going to be really hot. Right. So use your handy dandy tongs and remove your jar from the heat. Okay. Take your ladle and you're going to want to ladle the hot mixture into the jar. And how full are we going? You're going to fill that to about one fourth of an inch from the top. Okay. So after that step's done, your jar is full. This is the step that's really cool. This is going to save you some time. So when you have your jar about one fourth of an inch full from the top, okay. while it's still hot, wearing your oven mitt, flip your jar over. Um, and I usually do this as I make them mm -hmm. and just kind of work, work my way through the process. Mm -hmm. Let them stay upside down for five to 10 minutes. And then when you flip that over, the heat inside the jar is gonna act like a vacuum and pop that seal right and down And you'll hear you. it. You, you'll hear it, yeah. So you know that it's sealed safely. Right, and you know, you kinda wanna sit around and count the pops so right. that you know Just your to jars make sure are everybody's done. sealed. Yeah. That makes it so easy. It does, yes. And That's you know great. that same um, technique works for sauces, canned vegetables, pickles, anything. Brilliant, I love it. Such a great idea. Yep. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for having me, We Meryl. appreciate you being with us. All the instructions on how to make Trace's Blackberry Jam are on our website at newschannel5.com. You'll also find a link there to his blog, The Bitter Socialite, which has more great recipes as well as entertaining ideas, too. 